Bhatti functional scoring system to evaluate post-surgical reduction of developmental dysplastic hips by Professor Anisadeen Bhatti, Consultant Orthopedic and Pediatric Surgery, Ziauddin University Hospital, Karachi. In Eastern lifestyles, sitting methods vary from the West. The population of patient that we cater to has requirements for floor sitting and squatting, which may seem like extreme movements to a Western population. The progressive development of post-surgical reduction of DDH is monitored by various clinical and radiological methods of evaluation. Radiologically, Severin classification and its modifications are used. They indicate containment and CE angle. Clinically, it can be evaluated by McKay's criteria, Severin's criteria, Ferguson index, Trevor method, Larson scale, and Harris hip scores. McKay's criteria measures pain, limp, stability, Trendlinburg, and range of motion. Trevor and Johnson similarly measure pain, limp, and function described by the patient. This is unspecified, and this is not standardized. Ferguson and Howard check range of motion only. Harris hip scores are basically designed for adult hips. Limitations of these commonly practiced methods are that these scoring systems are not able to evaluate the functional limitations of patients while performing daily accustomed sitting habits of an Eastern lifestyle. Patients are evaluated subjectively on history and objectively for range of motion in a lying position. And after that, mathematical calculations are required to record. Bhatti functional scoring system was designed with the methodology to overcome these limitations exhibited by commonly practiced methods from McKay, Trevor, Ferguson, and others. Bhatti's functional scoring system is superior to commonly practiced methods in terms of evaluation of patients' difficulties incurred while performing daily accustomed sitting habits of Eastern lifestyle. Bhatti functional scoring system shows us information on pain, limp, range of motion, Trendlinburg, and endurance while performing these habits. The positions that we use to establish the Bhatti functional scoring system are three, a squat, a palti, and a tashud. A squat is basically crouch sitting, palti is cross-legged sitting, and tashud is a kneeling posture. These habits are then divided into three types depending on their severity. Squat type one is when a patient is able to squat comfortably. Similarly, type one palti is when they're able to do a palti comfortably, and Type 1 tashod is when they're able to sit in tashod easily. Type 2 in squat is if the heel is raised or if they need support getting up or if they feel discomfort while performing this habit, then it will come into type 2. In type 3, they'll be completely unable to do the squat. In type 2 palti, they're able to make palti, but the knees are raised from the floor less than 45 degrees. If the knees are raised more than 45 degrees, then this falls into type three palti. In tashod, type two tashod is if there is difficulty to sit on the floor and there's discomfort, and it's better for a patient to sit on a chair with the leg drop down, then becomes type two. If they're completely unable to perform this, then it is type three. The scores are then divided into four portions, which are excellent, good, fair, and poor. Excellent scores are when all three positions fall into type one. Good is when any one of the three positions fall into a type two. Fair is when two out of three positions fall into type two or any one position falls into type three. Poor is when two out of three positions fall into type three or all three positions fall into type three. Here we can see a child with six years post-op open reduction with Salter osteotomy. She has an excellent score with squat one, palti one, tashud one. She has no pain, limp, or trend Lindbergh. A child here who underwent Pemberton osteotomy at three years post-op is seen to be able to squat. She has difficulty doing palti, so it's given a type two, and she's able to do tashud. So this gives a good score. On the right-hand side, we can see at five years follow-up, the scores have turned into excellent because right now she's also able to do palti comfortably. There was no pain, limp, or trend Lindbergh. A child at seven years follow-up, 
post left hip uh, ddh she is unable to squat and given therefore a squat of 2 she is able to do the palti and she is able to do the tashas and therefore the bhatti score has been good a patient with 5 year follow up has a fair score with squat 2 palti 2 and tashod 1 she has a mild limp no pain and no trendlinburg this is a patient with a poor score she is unable to do the squat she is unable to do the palti and she is unable to do the tashod also she has three scores in all three positions the range of motion measurement in bhatti score in squat shows complete flexion of the hip and the knee to a maximum comfortable abduction 15 to 20 degrees and mild external rotation 10 to 15 degrees in palti just like the faber test it shows us that the hip and the knee is able to flex 90 to 100 degrees hip abduction 45 degrees and complete external rotation at the hip is possible in tashod it is a kneeling posture that shows us that the hip is able to flex 90 degrees the knee is able to flex completely hip has external rotation at 5 to 10 degrees and comfortable abduction of 5 to 10 degrees there is also a modified tashod position in which one leg is in external rotation and one leg is in internal rotation and out of the side the benefits of the bhatti scoring system show us that subjective and objective assessment of sitting habits in an eastern lifestyle can be assessed and discomfort if any can be seen follow up videos can be recorded at home and similar information can be assessed in the clinic a comparative study with the objective to determine the accuracy and the validity of the bhatti functional scoring system was done when the bhatti functional scoring system was evaluated against mckay and fagerson 48 patients with 60 hips ages between 18 months and 7 years were evaluated for time consumed patient's compliance difficulties incurred and functional limitations it was found that the overall scores were comparable in both clinical outcomes for this study was that 81% of the patients were able to comply with McKay and Ferguson and 100% patients were able to comply with Bhatti's functional scoring system another significant uh, finding was that it took on an average about 6 minutes to perform the McKay and Ferguson whereas for a Bhatti functional score it only to, took 2 minutes to perform so almost 3 times as much time is required to perform the McKay and Ferguson Bhatti scoring functional system was found to be accurate in all patients with validity and cumulative percentage as kappa 1.0. In conclusion, the parameters of evaluation introduced in this new functional scoring system are significantly compatible with the Eastern lifestyle. The Bhatti scores provide real-time information regarding patients' limitations in performing daily accustomed sitting habits. It exhibits good information for additional parameters like discomfort, pain, limp, and Trendlinburg. Bhatti scores are less time consuming they're more patient friendly and they have more satisfactory compliance bhatti scores are comparable with mckay criteria and ferguson's ratings and validate its accuracy in combination with the seven radiological assessment bhatti score exhibits a comprehensive evaluation methodology to evaluate post surgical ddh these three studies uh, have been published in support of bhatti functional scoring systems thank you for your time